Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a second semester nursing student, struggling, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> this is a week of my life, yay! Um, today is Monday, February 12th. I am taking Med Surge 1 right now and an online class for my BSN and Med Surge is kicking my little behind. So I have class at like 1.15, so I have to leave like basically now to be on time but I, as you can see, I'm still in bed and not doing anything and not leaving. <laughs> um, I don't know, procrastination really just hit me really bad over the weekend. And oh, so the last time you saw me, I was getting my wisdom teeth taken out and I was taking my test and I did not really get to study that much for my test. And so I was really nervous going into it. And then I was also on pain medications. Um, so technically I wasn't supposed to take that test, but I did. I was just like, I don't want to, I don't want to keep worrying about it. I don't want to keep stressing about it. I'll just take it, blah, blah, blah. And so I took it and I was literally reading this stuff in the car for farm, like trying to learn the medications in the car 20 minutes before the test started. And I was like, wow, this is not good. Um... I was like, wow, this is like a low. This is like a new low for me. And so I took the test anyway, and I was like, let's just get it over with, chuck it. And it was kind of weird because I was the first one done. And there's normally like one or two people that like always finish before me. But I'm like, it's not even about finishing before people. But I was just like, why did I kind of kind of fly through that test? It was kind of weird. The test felt weird. Like some questions were like, what the absolute F? like what and then some of the questions were like really easy and I'm like okay this is really strange so we actually had lecture after that test which was also very strange because we wouldn't have done any coursework for the next unit if we had a test we were just going to be studying so whatever so I had to go back at like 2 45 so I basically I guess I had like an hour in between me finishing my test and lecture starting and I like went to get lunch and then came back and like I saw some of my classmates and they were just like that test was horrendous and I was like oh you know I don't want to be that person that was like I didn't really think it was that bad because if everyone's freaking out about a test I don't want to be that person that was like I didn't think it was that bad but whatever so I was just like oh yeah some of the questions were definitely like really weird and also I didn't study for that test <laughs> I did not study as much as I normally do and Long story short, I actually did kind of well. And I was like shocked when I saw my grade. I mean, I knew that I probably passed. Like I definitely felt like I got like at least in the 70s or low 80s. And then when I saw my grade, I was like, your girl got an 88. <laughs> um, what? 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 On a test I didn't study for one and I was on paid medications? Okay must have been an easy test um and I don't really think that many people failed that test so I feel like overall the class was just really stressed out for that test and I think we were all just really just amped up and so everything felt like the world was ending but we were actually okay so I'm glad everyone did okay on that test I'm glad I did okay on that test and so now we're on to unit two which is hypertension and diabetes and yeah, so I did do a reading on atherosclerosis that I had to do. I read chapter chapter 21. Chapter 21 was cardio assessment and atherosclerosis was chapter 23. Oh, so I read all of chapter 21. I read the passage of chapter 23 that I was supposed to. And 26. I read, did I read 26? I think so. I did read 26. So now I have to read 27, which is hypertension. It was a very tiny chapter. And did I read it? No, I did not. It was only 15 pages. I have no excuse for not reading it. Literally none. Literally none. I'm really mad at myself. But it is what it is. I have these little fuzzies in my hair. It's like really annoying having dark hair because you can see every little thing in it. But it's okay. So I did that. Or I didn't do that. And today's lecture should be focusing on hypertension. And like, honestly, I feel kind of okay with not doing all the readings. 
because my plan is to just read ATI in the car before lecture. <laughs> like, you know, like the little ATI book. I'm just going to read that. And then I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, get myself some... Should I get myself... No, I'm not going to go to Trader Joe's. Okay, and here's why. Because I'm sorry, this vlog is literally like all over the place already. As you guys know, I love flowers. And I love tulips specifically. And I got... What did, oh my gosh, they drank all the water. I went to Trader Joe's and I got these tulips and they're gorgeous. They're literally gorgeous. And then yesterday I had brunch with Brooke at IHOP to celebrate our friend anniversary and Valentine's Day. And she got me tulips too. <laughs> and they smell so good. Oh my gosh. Um, so no, no more flowers for me. And it's really cloudy in New York over the past like month because you know it's winter. And the sun is finally coming out and I don't really, I wouldn't really have any other spot to put these flowers because they're sitting on top of my air conditioner in the window. <laughs> so what can you do? I do need to water that though. I will water these tulips. It's 12.35 so I'm going to get going before I'm late to class because that's like the worst feeling. Um, where I park... I park technically close to the building where, you know, where um, my class is, but there's the all these freaking stairs. And like, if you've ever seen like Kung Fu Panda, like the stairs, <laughs> feel it feels like that when you're climbing up those freaking stairs every single time. It's like, if you're late, it just... Oh, and then you're like running up the stairs and you're like out of breath and then you're late and out of breath and it's just, it's not a cute look. Hey guys, so lecture just ended. Um, it was definitely productive in a way. I just think that the, this is just how lectures are going to go this semester with this instructor. Like, they're okay. Like, they're okay. Like, helps us understand the very basics of the material but like I feel like doesn't really like add anything that we would have that we wouldn't have read in like a textbook or something so it's kind of like I have a lot of reading ahead of me um the diabetic chapter in or the diabetes chapter in my textbook is like 50 pages and then the hypertension is 15 and then I have to prepare patient teaching for beta blockers and work on my care plan and do a vSIM and write this paper. But all of those things except for the paper by Wednesday, by Wednesday morning. So that's a little tough. <gasps> oh, terrible pothole. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I ordered the iced pink macchiato because it's pink. Um, I was hoping it'd be like a berry flavor, but it is not. So we'll see what it is and we'll try it together. Okay, I have my... It looks so pretty! Oh my gosh! I've never seen something look so pretty. I don't... I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, let's see. I was supposed to be drinking out of a straw, but I'm like 10 days post-op with my wisdom teeth, so I feel like I'm okay now. I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> The espresso is like really strong. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I would give it, I would give it a six and a half out of 10. I would say it's fair. Is it life-changing, earth-shattering, groundbreaking? No, but it's also drinkable, you know? I've definitely gotten drinks from Duncan before that were not drinkable. <laughs> and this is at least drinkable. I can say that. And it's cute. It's like pink. So, I have decided I'm I don't think I like this I don't think I would be or well I'm gonna I'm gonna rephrase that I don't hate it but I also don't love it like I don't think I would ever order this again for any reason under any circumstance so I'm gonna get something else something that I'm a little bit more familiar with and yeah I caved and I went to Starbucks I caved. I did. I caved. Okay. So it is like 550-ish, 549. And I'm basically finished with my hypertensive chapter. And I'm very, very proud of myself. I did not think I'd actually be able to do it. 
Look at me go. I read all of this. It started here. See, I wrote 15 pages with the hard eyes emoji because I was so excited that I had a short chapter for once and read through this. And it was pretty straightforward. Um, I know a lot about this already because I have family members with hypertension. My fiance has hypertension and, and I have given him extensive patient education, patient education over the years about how to manage his hypertension. And now he's actually listening and I'm like so excited. Like he's doing the DASH diet and he's exercising and he's losing weight or trying to lose weight. But you know, like so proud of him. So, so proud of him. Um, so he's doing better with his health. And so now I have to do a patient teaching assignment for beta blockers. And it was very helpful that I just so happened to just finish reading this chapter so I can get started on that. So let's see what my assignment is. So I know I have to make some sort of like brochure patient education packet or pretend one because the patients will be my classmates. This was um, my PowerPoint slides from today. We were doing diabetes and I don't know, like it was like, okay. I didn't really write a lot of notes, as you can see. I just like highlighted some stuff. Let's see if I can find some things that I typed. Not, not a lot. Um, really not a lot. Like, I don't know why, what it is about this particular instructor I zone out so bad and I'm just I don't know less engaged I don't know if that's what you would call it but I don't know like my old I guess this is the most this slide has the most going on out of all of the slides from today I think yeah like for comparison like this is my notes from fundamentals and like I'm writing stuff like not every slide has stuff written on it but like you can tell like I'm having thoughts I'm like writing stuff down and then like this year it's just so different so like I don't really know what to make of it and I don't know if it's a good thing I don't know if it's a good thing I I almost feel like I'm not absorbing like anything that's being taught in lecture and maybe it's because like it's just like a different style than I'm used to like I don't know what's going on but like I just I don't know so anyways I'm gonna work on oh I kind of went on a little um, tangent there. But let's look at my assignment. I have a hypertensive client who requires teaching on a newly prescribed beta blocker, include therapeutic effects and side effects, include action plan related to abnormal BP or heart rate readings on home monitor. And then it says patient Max Renfro. So I'm assuming I have to look at Max Renfro's chart. I don't really know. And so, so directions, complete an ATI procedure, concept, and or medication template for your topic. Submit to your instructor for review prior to or on presentation day. The use of handouts is encouraged. Refer to patient education resources such as Lippincott, Lexicom, StatRef, and DocuCare. Request demonstration equipment from the professional, professional equipments. Only practice medications or trainers are permitted for use during demonstrations. I'm gonna bring in my electric BP reader monitor thing. Um, I'm gonna bring that in so I can be like, hey, look, this is how you do it, blah, blah, blah. Um, rehearse teaching to stay within 10 minute time frame with instructor guidance, practice documentation by completing the pre patient education tab in the DocuCare EHR after the, okay, that makes sense. After the presentation, remember, Students are providing demonstration of a skill to the patient and audience. Students are expected to be fully prepared to deliver an organized cogent. I've never seen that word before. Cogent, C-O-G-E-N-T, teaching session and be able to identify and address major teaching points for patient education. Subpar, subpar performance as deemed by the lab instructor may result, may result in a written lab warning. Okay, so it is now 7.30ish. My sorority meeting starts in like five minutes, but I'm going to show you my progress with my pamphlet that I did. Okay, so, so far I did this, managing your high blood pressure. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these two pages yet, but we will see. And then look at this. So 
I did about your medication, possible side effects, explaining what blood pressure is, and then I don't know what this is gonna be, and then I have to figure out this bottom part, but that's pretty much how it's looking right now. And then my patient education will basically be figuring out like what blood pressure is, how we manage blood pressure, diet, exercise, going more in depth about explaining that, but also obviously explaining beta blockers, explaining beta blockers, what they do, how they work, what to avoid when you're taking them, um, how to take them, and then also how to monitor blood pressure, heart rate at home, and then which side effects you tell your doctor about, which adverse reactions you have to seek like immediate medical treatment for, fall prevention, that type of thing. Also, what was really funny was that I was looking at my care plan because I was like, oh yeah, let me just work on my care plan. Wrong. Because apparently my, some, somehow this was like put in to be due on the 10th, which was two days ago, um, which is wrong because this care plan isn't due for another like week. <laughs> and so there's a chance I have to start all over, which would be really, really sad because I pretty much finished everything and I can't even like see what it was to copy and paste like it won't even let me in the like I have my thing right here and it literally won't even it won't even let me put it in like it these are all of the the docu-care patients that I can like go into it and load it up and whatever and like put stuff in but like it literally won't even show up in my active assignments, so I have to go into past assignments and it's not even like this is my thing. This is my person and it won't let me go in there. And I'm so sad. So we'll see. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday night. Um <laughs> it's like nine o'clock, it's like eight fifty-three. And I did basically nothing today. Well, that's not true, that's not true. I did get an Amazon package and I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Do you wanna know why? I broke down and got a foldable clipboard. Another one. If you didn't know this, I've been ranting and raving and telling you guys how much I hate foldable clipboards because, oh, this is what I was looking for, perfect. Okay, I have this one. My wonderful friend Sam gave it to me and love her. But absolutely hated this, absolutely hated it. Um, absolutely hated it, I literally, it was like useless, like literally useless. And I was like, I hate political boards. I'm never going to use one until this semester when, because it's like floppy. And I think that was why it was like floppy. And I'm like, what is the point? Like, what is the point of this? This is terrible. Because, let's put this here because I'm not all over the place. Sorry, ignore the mess behind me. Um, <laughs> I my professor gives us report sheets that we have to use in clinical and then I was like oh I can't get by using my notepad because I pretty much just write everything on my notepad but I'm wasting so much time writing everything on these notepads like I can't show you the exact sheet that we use because I have patient information on it but this is like a type of sheet and like and so I broke down and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it another shot. And so I got one. This one I got from Amazon. And it's very sturdy, very metal. It's like a pinky rose gold e color. It's like metallic. And then it came with the option to put the stickers on, which I did. I don't think I'm going to use it that much. The only thing I would really use it for is... The Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion because the hospital, the man for clinical, they everything's in Celsius, and I'm like, I did not anticipate needing to know that because <laughs> my first hospital was Fahrenheit, which was easy. I'll be using this at clinical on Thursday, and I'm a little bit salty about it. I'm a little bit salty. I am. So I spent the day pretty much listening to Taylor Swift like all day, and I'm listening to her right now still. I know that's terrible. And then I took a nap. Um, I woke up in time for my sorority meeting, and then now I'm about to do a visa. And this is Skylar Hansen, and I don't know if you guys, and you guys are in nursing school and do VSIMs, but Skylar Hansen is like the first patient that could like die. 
and if you like don't move fast enough he's gonna die and so we're gonna try this together and see what happens so Skylar Hansen is a diabetic patient I'll read you the the lowdown on him once it loads because you get an S bar look at him little 18 year old Skylar Hansen wow so 18 year old male just arrived to the ED accompanied by his friend who said he started acting weird while they're playing basketball Skylar told him he was lightheaded and was going to lay down on the cement court his friend became nervous and decided to bring him to the hospital Skylar lives at home with his parents and siblings he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes six months ago it's probably hypoglycemia <laughs> The patient, yeah, the patient did not eating anything in the last five hours. He is diaphoretic and drowsy, wakes the stimulus, acting rationally, and has slurred speech. An initial assessment and vital signs are needed. He has not been seen by the provider. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not going to end well. Okay. So they did, there's like nothing in there. There's no, oh, God, I'm so scared. I'm literally so scared. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Okay, so orders. There are no writer orders. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm freaking out already. Wow, no labs, literally nothing. You're walking in, you know literally nothing about this patient. That's so freaking scary. Okay, guys, are you ready? Oh God. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Let's see, safety measures, wash hands. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> He's Skyline who doesn't know what year this is. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we can start vitals. Let's see. He's looking a little weird, but okay. Um, skin. Okay. Skin is sweaty and cool. Okay, radial pulse. I'm gonna wash my hands. Check his IV, because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do some sort of something. Oh, he doesn't have an IV. Oh my God, no. Okay, so what do I do? Okay, he's looking a little funky, so let's, let's see if we can start an IV. Insert IV arm. Is this fine though? Should I, oh wait, I should call the doctor. Call for assistance. Uh, call provider. Yes. Okay, so we call the provider. Cool. So they gave us some orders. Uh, where are my orders? Down here. Orders. Oh, where are they? Where are the orders? <gasps> Please, where are the orders? <laughs> There's no orders. Oh my god. What the heck? What is this? Where the heck are the orders? Hello? Where are the orders? Where the heck are the orders? Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Pause. I'm pausing. I called the provider and they're like, okay, yeah. So they gave you some new orders. Where are the orders? There's still nothing. Can I assess like level of consciousness or no? Neuro. Okay, so I'll I'll check responsiveness next. Oh, no response. Okay, so let's just put in an IV now. Let's just put in an IV. Okay, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. Okay, uh, insert IV, because I'm like, what the hell? Okay, is there still any orders? Still no orders. Okay, let's call for help. Uh, uh, meds. Just like drugs and fluids. Not a code team. I just need D50. Uh, how many ML? How many ML did you? Oh my God, what do you do? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, flush. How many MLs of D5 do you do? Shoot. Uh, it's like, it was like 50, right? So let's just do 50 ML D5W. I know there's no order. Bro, his his oxygen's dropping. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Oh my god. Okay, call. Oh my god. I just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Administer. <laughs> uh, what does the advice in case they're improving? Return to normal baseline, uh, proven speech, and blood glucose. 
Oh, he's waking up. Was that like legal though? I don't know if that's like legal. I just gave, I just gave a med without an order. Okay, let's call provider again, because where the heck were those orders? Where were they? There's no orders still, even after I gave the, the D50, still no orders. Um, okay, his oxygen is improving though. It was, he was literally down to 89. I was like, bruh. Okay, so let's, let's do another assessment for neuro. Let's check vitals now. That was so stressful for no reason. Check skin. Ooh, his skin went from cool and sweaty to dry, normal temperature color. Measure blood pressure. 128 over 78. I don't know what to do now. I, he looks fine. Like his eyes are open and everything and I don't know what to do. So it's just said he just needs an initial assessment in vital signs. So I don't still know freaking orders. This is stressing me out. Look at all the things I did for him. <laughs> so I don't know what to do at this point. Like, oh, can I check blood sugar? Hey guys, it's editing Sarah. And yeah, that was the reason why I never got orders because the doctor didn't know what the blood sugar was. That was why I didn't get orders that whole time. I knew it was hypoglycemia, so I didn't think to check how hypoglycemic he actually was. And I had I had to repeat this in because spoiler alert, I failed. Um, because failing is below 75. And I repeated this in, and once I checked blood sugar, then I got orders. <laughs> so well, I had checked blood sugar, called the provider, then got orders. Um, but even after I, even after I, I repeated the same, like I checked blood sugar, I still had to call the doctor like three times. So me and this doctor have beef. <laughs> Wait a dang minute. Hold on. Uh, pain assessment, auscultate, cardio, head to toe, neuro respiratory vital signs. How do you check blood sugar? Bedside blood glucose. He's 92, so he's normal. Where the heck is this provider? There's still no orders. I'm, I keep checking the orders and I'm like, where is he? Uh, provide carbs and protein now that he's conscious. Oh, he probably needed food. So yeah, that would make sense. Let's see how I did. Uh oh, I see him very critical. Oh, I'm scared. Let's see. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I got a 69 my first try. That was pretty good. I did pretty good. Okay, so it's 4 a.m. and I feel like the bags on my eyes are going to get progressively worse as today goes on. It's literally 4 a.m. and I'm still not done. And I have like about an hour before I have to get ready because I have to go to Walmart when Walmart opens. Well, actually, I can go to a different Walmart. I can go to a Walmart that's closer. That might buy me some time. So, because originally I'm like, I'm going to go to this Walmart that's like half an hour away because that's the Walmart that I like. And then I realized like I live closer to a Walmart than that. So I'm probably going to, this is oof, showing the, the real great brain function right now. I have to get printer ink to print out templates for my instructor because she needs them for my, it's part of my patient education project. I had to do ATI templates. Um, so I did one on system disorder template for hypertension and I did a medication template for metoprolol and then um you have to print those out before I go to lab today because I would print it out at my my library at school but the library doesn't open until 7 45 and my lab starts at 8 and I feel like that's cutting it way too close so I'll just get printer ink um because I needed to get it anyway and I should have gotten it the other day when I went to Staples to mail my friend's gift, and I didn't. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold outside. Okay, so I'm done with lecture. It's sunny finally, oh my gosh, it's just freaking cold. So I'll walk you how my day went. It was not great, I'll let you know that right now. It was not great. So I get out of my car, right? Um, 
things are going okay, right? Um, I had my smoothie. I had my smoothie, I printed everything out that I needed, it, everything was good. I walk to my class, 7.40ish in the morning, and they did not pave the parking lot very well. I think they were in the middle of paving it, so there was like no spots because everything was covered in snow. And so then I literally tried like two different spots, and then like I couldn't park there, and it was embarrassing. And then I parked where I parked, okay, I'm like, I get out. I'm walking in my Crocs, worst shoes to wear in the snow, and they weren't even the fuzzy ones that I that I have, because I have fuzzy Crocs that don't have the holes in the front. Didn't wear those today, I was dumb, I was really dumb. So then I'm walking, and then there's just like ice everywhere, and then there's just like the spot where they just didn't pave the walkway, and so I'm just walking on snow where I was about to. So I thought, do you wanna know why? Cause I slipped and fell on the ice. That was how I started my morning, by eating the pavement. And I was like, you know what, whatever. I'm gonna take it in stride. I'm gonna hope no one was behind me cause that's really embarrassing to fall. And so then I walked to my class, like do, 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 do. I walked to my class, to lab. Lab went pretty well. Um, I mean, it went, it went fine. Um, and then I <laughs> broke down crying at the end because I had to, because I had clinical tomorrow and I told my, my instructor, I basically warned her like, Hey, you know, um, tomorrow, like February 15th is always like a rough day for me because it's the day that my brother passed away. And so just in case I'm like not normal tomorrow, that's why, but I'm going to try my best to be as normal as I can. And as I'm telling her that, she's like, oh, you know, I'm sorry. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And I start crying <laughs> and I'm fine now. But like this morning I was just like, it's just hard. And then, so I was like crying and I'm like, oh, now this on top of everything. And then I'm trying to like drink a Celsius towards the end of lab because I pulled an all-nighter as you guys know. And it is now like 3.30 in the afternoon and I don't really get tired, but I'll get tired like two o'clock on the dot every time this happens. This is like the third week in a row that, that I've done this. Actually, maybe fourth. I think I've pulled like four. It's always Tuesday and Wednesday I pull all-nighters. It just works out that way. Two, two o'clock on the dot. And my lecture, so my lab is from 8.15 to 12.15 or 8 to 12.15. We have an hour break. And then I have lecture from 1.15 to 3.20. And so I'm trying to prophylactically drink my Celsius and I'm not supposed to drink Celsius because I have heart issues, but it's the only thing that keeps me alive, like somewhat awake. So then I'm literally drinking this and I probably drink about half and I don't feel anything. So I'm, I'm good. Um, but if I drank the whole thing, I'd be in the ER right now. Um, so I'm drinking my Celsius. I'm thinking I'm doing good. Sure enough. Two o'clock rolls around, you girls start falling asleep in lecture. I was falling asleep. Oh, I hate that feeling. I hate that feeling so much because I don't want the instructor to know I'm falling asleep. Like, I don't want her to know. I'm just like closing my eyes. And then I realize, like, you ever fall asleep or you're trying to not fall asleep, but then you realize your eyes are closed, so you open them. Like, that happens so many times. Like, I'm just one minute I'm sitting, I'm looking, the next moment I'm like, wait, my eyes are closed. And then there was a t there was a point in lecture where she called on me twice because <laughs> she probably saw me falling asleep. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's pulled an all nighter. It's not the instructor isn't boring or you know or anything. It's just I pulled an all nighter, but I can't tell her that because then she'll be like, what? What are you doing wrong? They pulled an all nighter in nursing school. It's just like everything's freaking hard. Okay, <laughs> pulled uh, pull, did that. And then sure enough, 315 rolls around. I have five minutes left to class and all of a sudden I just perk up. And now we are where we are. So I'm gonna go home. I have to film two videos really quick. One of them you will see, actually you'll see that one before you see this one. So <laughs> I have to film that video today. And then, um, oh, and I just wanna sleep, but I can't because I have 
beautiful, beautiful sun that I want to see and I appreciate because it's been cloudy for like two weeks straight or something crazy like that. Um, but yes, I have my Whole Foods order coming. I ordered it delivery and it was supposed to be in between three and five. I'm thinking they would come closer to five and they're on their way now. So I have to go home to get my groceries and I have Shane got me flowers and that's coming in between three and four and it's 3.30. Um, so I <laughs> have to go home for that too. So I'll go home, get my groceries, get my flowers, um, film my video, and then I might see you, I don't know when actually, but I have clinical tomorrow, so at the very least, you'll see me tomorrow for clinical. Hey guys, it's Thursday, and it's clinical day. <laughs> I'm ready. And I'm not terribly late yet. If there's no traffic, I'm not late, but if there is traffic, eh, I've gotten a little bit close. Just a little bit. Are these my keys? Yes, kinda need these. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. All right, so we are off. I will be there on time, and my version of on time is 10 minutes early because my instructor does not want us walking in at eight o'clock. She wants us ready to be on the floor slash on the floor at eight o'clock. So I want to be there at 7.50, which means I'm exactly on time. I don't really know what today will bring, but I will let you know after <laughs> um this week literally went by so quick it feels like and i didn't really film a lot because i was like really busy we have one more lecture before my exam yeah. <laughs> okay so i'm on my lunch break right now I made myself some tacos, soft tacos with applesauce, and the little hip peas, chickpea Cheeto things, and some juice. I'm very excited for it. <laughs> hey guys, so clinical is over. Well, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, and I feel like, I don't know if you guys know this. So we go to the hospital from eight to three, and then we go home and then go on Zoom from four-ish to six, talking about it. Um, so it's after three, and then we're supposed to go straight home, but I did not go straight home. I went to the cemetery um, because my brother is here, and today is, the, it's been, today is his anniversary of passing, and it has been 17 years wow 17 years today um so this day is always really tough for me but somehow i was able to hold it together i don't know how um I'm, i always get teary-eyed on february 15th um always without without fail i guess this this year is different um so i'm at the cemetery <laughs> i figured i would just talk to you here because it's kind of weird talking at the hospital um so my patient was very nice I really liked them. They were really talkative, um, really talkative. Very nice though. I was able to do all my assessments on them. Um, I did med pass today, so that was fun. I did AM care as well. I was very proud of myself. It was a very productive day. Um, I made the bed. I gave the bed bath. I, um, it was a lot of talking. It was a lot of talking, but in between the talking, I was able to do med pass and then what? I did vitals as well. I wrote it down. And oh, my foldable clipboard. Okay, so I think, let me just, let me just tell you what I did. I wrote it down. Um, bed, bath, breakfast. Oh yeah, helps with breakfast. Changed the bed, vitals, IV. Oh, I, I assessed the IV site. Um, did my head to toe and focus assessment and med pass. And that was my day. And then I had this other patient that was like constantly ringing their call bell, like literally every five minutes. I'm not kidding, literally every five minutes. And they were on isolation. And <laughs> I would like get into the hallway, I would like go do something, and then I'd see the light. I was like, oh, but it's fine. It's fine. I would, you know what? I would rather them use the call bell than don't. And then not have their needs met or fall because they're trying to get up to go to the bathroom constantly like 
I'd rather them use the call bell so I can help them. It's just like, <laughs> just like feel like you made, you made like no progress because I constantly need something, but it's okay. It's okay. I kind of appreciate the needy patient because it kept me busy and kept my mind not thinking about how sad today is. I really do appreciate that still. But anyways, my foldable clipboard. I, as you guys know, have been vehemently, vehemently anti-clipboard, like since the jump. From the jump, I've been like anti-clipboard. But like, I see, I see the appeal. Am I fully converted? Not yet. Because it's like a little bit disorganized like I know I don't know if you guys know this about me I hate papers like I hate hate papers I hate just just loose papers like this hate it and so the clipboard obviously is meant for papers which that makes sense um I am more of a notebook girly because this, is, this doesn't have anything on it I'm more of a notebook girly because everything's organized and together and I can at least like flip through the pages like this is so cumbersome even like it's so cumbersome like literally like I'd have to like unclamp this find the paper that I want flip to it and it's just like so annoying and then you reclip and it's just so many steps you reclamp it you write what you need to write it's nice writing on it but then like you're folding it up and it doesn't fold up right and then it's like going it's, like, it's so I don't know so I am with all that said though I am going to change my stance on the clipboard I will tolerate it <laughs> I will tolerate the clipboard for at least the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I'm gonna go home to do post conference. That's like that's what we call it on Zoom. And I'm I feel a little bit relieved for getting through this week because I was like really overwhelmed to get into the week, like really overwhelmed. And it feels like once I get through Wednesday, like once I come home from lecture on Wednesday, I feel just weight lifted off my shoulders. And then I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and Tuesday of no class. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, so I, I feel relaxed now because I can finally like breathe, you know? Um, so on the agenda for the rest of tonight, I post conference. I have study night with my sorority. And then tomorrow I have a Zoom which I will tell you guys about. I'm very excited. So my fundamentals professor invited me and another student to be, to attend this committee meeting. And I don't really know exactly what the committee is called, but it's basically all these representatives from the hospitals in the area meet and they talk about, along with new grad nurses, they meet and they talk about how current nursing students can learn things better. And so we are current nursing students representing, I'm representing my cohort along with another student. And that's like really exciting. The only thing is I'm a little bit nervous because I have no ideas how to improve the curriculum. I've only done fundamentals. So <laughs> I mean, from a fundamental standpoint, I really don't think there's much more that we could do because I really feel like we learned a lot, but it also depends on who we have. Like maybe like something a little bit more standard with what we do in clinical, maybe, I don't know, because like, I was able to give meds last semester. I did IV piggyback, I did PO, I did injections. So I felt very comfortable and I, I did all PO meds today. It was like literally so easy, so good. But some of my other classmates had different clinical instructors last semester and they never gave meds. Like injections are still scary to them. And so like, you know what I mean? And so I think it's very easy for some nurse or future nurses to slip through the cracks and not really get the best education. So it really depends on like, I, my school has a very, very, very good reputation. Like whenever they see people see us like, oh, you go to this school, they, they're the best, you know? And we're just a community college. So it's funny that we're considered better than some of the four-year nursing programs. <laughs> well, that's, you didn't hear that from me. You literally hear that from every other person that I see that sounds like, oh, you got in there. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go home so I'm not late for post-conference and I will see you later. Okay. Hey guys, it is 11 o'clock. It's 11.01 and I did not do anything. Well, that's not true. I got to stop saying that. So I did my post-conference. I don't know if I saw you after post-conference. We basically just talked about our patients, how the day went. Um, 
asked a few questions about our patients and basically reviewed our assessments and did kind of a report, kind of, like a very in-depth report. And then we had, um, we're doing a cultural assignment in clinical and the way that they split it up is we have like, uh, two people presenting each day. So like my day to present was last week and I did American deaf culture. The presenters this week did, um, Orthodox Jews and what was the other one? Oh, uh, Cherokee Native Americans. Um, so that was cool. We did that. And then, yeah, post-conference ended. And then I don't know what I did for a half hour, but I fell asleep around six o'clock. I took a nap. I needed to nap. I was very tired. And then I needed to get up for study hall for Delta Sigma and did study hall. Didn't really do a lot, but started on my paper. Um, it is a critical appraisal of a quantitative study. And this is my tiny little textbook. It's so tiny compared to my med search textbook. I'm like spoiled by this textbook. Um, so I'm going through the prompts. So we have, this is like what it looks like. Um, really not bad. It's like a five page paper, but like they ask so many questions that it's really easy, you know, to write that much. Not, it's not like that much, but like, you know what I mean? It's like easy to write it. Cause it's just, you're just answering questions and just providing quotes and whatever. Um, and then I wanted to show you my clinical sheet. I filmed it like a little bit this morning. I don't know if I'll be able to put the clip in, but I tried to like film what I could. And so this is what we're using. So we have the name, the date, patient's initials, their age, sex, date, they're admitted. They're, I, this, this is always should be a yes. Um, if they're on isolation, medical family, past medical history, surgical history, admitting diagnosis, and then labs, if they have a healthcare proxy, what their code status is, um, diagnostic tests. I feel like this box should be bigger because some patients have a lot. Allergies. I don't really understand this yet, but maybe, I don't know. And then their meds, um, diet, fluid restrictions, IVs, intake output, um, activity, this is vitals basically. And then physical assessment is all this green stuff. So we have neuro, um, I don't know if you can see it. The neuro was like down here. Um, or this, this is yeah. Neuro mental status. And then level of consciousness, speech, perla, extremities, sensation, muscle strength, ROM, any sensory deficits. Oops. Where did I go? Where did I go? There I am. Um, cardio. I always forget to do cap refill. And then I look and I'm like, oh my gosh. I always forget. Every single freaking time I forget. But I I will try not to forget anymore. Respiratory, GI, skin. And then this is a little funky. It got cut off, I think. A Word document. There we go. <laughs> I was like, this is cut off. Ears, eyes, nose, throat, psychosocial. And then worse fall scale um Braden scale and this is a little bit messed up so I'll just go back to this one um nursing diagnoses which are now patient problems FDAR and SBAR and that is that is that so now you can understand why I got a foldable clipboard I'm not, I can't, I don't think I can really show you what I wrote down let's see I'll show you what I can Probably not much. Yeah, probably not. Um, oh, they also gave us this nursing diagnosis sheet with like common ones. Um, I didn't look at it today. I, I was so busy, like I didn't even breathe. And yeah, so that was my day today. It was pretty good. And I think I'm gonna go to bed because I don't really know how productive my studying is gonna be. Although what I will do is I will probably watch Lecturio tonight, just getting started on some meds because, um, not meds, uh, Picmonic is for meds. Um, diabetes. I have a 50 page chapter to read this weekend and I have to write this freaking paper on 
by Sunday. I might ask my professor for an extension though because uh, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hey guys, it is editing me again. So at this point in the night, um, my one of my friends um, texted me something and I needed to see them um, to make sure that they were safe. And I traveled uh, quite, quite far away from home, like five hours away from home for this friend. Um, so my weekend, I wouldn't say got derailed, but definitely uh, a trip that I was not anticipating making. Um, so I never filmed an outro because I was like, why don't I have an outro for this video? And then I remembered. Um, so I actually left, technically traveled out of state, but back into state because of where I am geographically. Um, yeah, I, I left over the weekend and then I got back in the next week. Um, so I never filmed an outro. So anyways, long story short, this is the outro. Um, <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you want to see my face again, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye.